Yeah. Married yeah. seven years, that's so cool. Yeah. So, all right, next. You, you, you asked about being in a mic in a couple days, uh, or a couple weeks. Yeah, my name's uh, Hunter. Uh, all right, it's not a job interview. You don't have to. <laughs> uh, He's like, all right, <clears throat> Hunter. <laughs> about <baptized>. five, six. <laughs> not baptized. Not baptized, uh, hell yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> In a relationship, is this your babe right here? Yes. Okay, uh, man, what's your name? Uh, what is it? Marie. Marie, hello Marie, marital status? Dating. Dating, okay, I don't know if you have any, you're like, yeah, I'm married, but this is like, you know, Polly's a thing, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping y'all were just all like, just dating each other, that would so cool. It was like, yeah, we all got together for a, for a, for a college textbook cover picture, and, then we all fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> Who else do we got? Who, what about you, man? What's your name? I'm Michaela. Oh, you're the okay, Alan. You're the one who got baptized. Oh my God, we were talking so much shit. He was like, I'm not going to hell. <laughs> so, what was the experience like? Getting baptized by your man? That was good. It was good. All right. <laughs> Refreshing. <laughs> She's like, the tub wasn't as big as I wanted it to be, but you know, it's about... No, I recommend it. Big yeah, <laughs> five out of five would recommend. Did he say, did he try to do anything slick afterwards? He was like... He just fucking pulled out a ring, like, I was pretty slick. So you were just dripping wet, just <laughs> like, and then was like, marry me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he held you down, he was like, you better say yes. <laughs> oh my God, that's so... God, you probably look like a lady of the lake just getting up and then being like, yes! <laughs> That's like, at least you, no one gets to see you crying. That's cool, I guess. Yeah, yeah. There were tears. But there were, yeah, that's so, that's so, that's like the loveliest, weirdest thing I've ever heard in my life. That just warms my agnostic heart. God's got me a tick towards y'all's side. Imagine, imagine, oh, shut up, Jerry. <laughs> imagine, imagine if they were like, y'all got baptized, but like, we're not religious. <laughs> like, I just felt like doing Which it. I've been getting into it lately. <laughs> yeah, I've been practicing my, my dips. Did you do two hands? I really, I'm going to talk after this show. I'm so interested in this. Yeah, did you like, did you like caress the back? Did he like caress the back of your head and then like, can you reenact it right now on stage? Well, oh. yeah. Jared said yes. Someone get a pail of water. Yeah. <laughs> pail of water from the kitchen. All right, yeah, come here. Can I play some baptism music? <laughs> So act like this is the pool or something. Well, I'm, I'm looking yeah, up. Please. I'm looking up. Bat okay, we got a playlist. Baptism songs. Okay, I'll be the pastor. <laughs> this is baptism. Wow. I remember when they were this high. That was so cute. And then you. And then came back. Up, and then you pop up. And then you propose. And then you. And then you got out of the water. <laughs> oh, wow, that's so cool. Give it up for them, everyone. Yo, baptism music sucks. Yeah, baptism music. <laughs> was the music like this play? No uh, music. Was, did we walk them off? Did we, did, I think y'all just out-coupled them. I think. <laughs> True. Well, thank y'all for being here. Uh, let me go ahead and explain the concepts of the show then. Uh, me and Tyler Bauer, we are uh, we, have, we have two microphones, we have a soundboard. Comics are going to come up here, they're going to do about five or six minutes, and we're going to talk during their set. We're going to play sound effects like this. You said you fuck P. Diddy? <laughs> <laughs> we have more sound effects, but that's just the favorite one right now. Uh, and as a crowd, you can get in on the show too. If you follow Base City Comedy on Instagram, send us some DMs. You can talk about me, you can make a joke about Tyler, you can talk about any comic you want to, you can tell me more details about your baptism. Tell me the temperature of the water. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun tonight. We have some really good comics lined up. With that being said, I'm done. Tyler, do you have anything? No, that was a beautiful moment. I'm Hell glad yeah. I was a part of it. Dude, if we were baptizing each other, who do you think would be the baptizer and baptizer? <laughs> I think we both have to baptize. That's true. Is. <laughs> I would want to hold you on the shore and we go down together. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know it's bad to each other. We both come up with no hair on our bodies at all. <laughs> Just truly reborn in Christ and in each other. That's so cool. All right. Well, I, I don't know where that went. Well, are you guys ready for the show? We have a great show. Are you ready for the show, everyone? <laughs> fuck yeah. Well, we do a little thing with every single show we start. On the count of three, can I get one big fuck you, Monty? One, two, three. Fuck you, Monty. 
and one for my co-host, my best friend, the man I want to baptize inside my butt. Please give it up for Tyler Brown on three. One, two, three. Fuck you, Tyler! Hell yeah, and one last thing before this. We are recording. This is posted on YouTube. Please give it up for our cameraman, Silver! <laughs> follow, him on, uh, follow him on Instagram at Presto Signs. Follow him on YouTube at Silver Person. He posts all the videos around all the shows going on in Richmond. You can see shows from like 12 fucking years ago. It's so fucking cool. But yeah, so please, with that being said, please laugh when you can. Be in shock and awe, clap, boo, do whatever you want. With that being said, let's have fun. Are you ready for your first comic of the night? Yeah! Your first comic coming to the stage. He's he's a he's been doing comedy a, a little a little under a year right now, but he's a very funny man. I'm very excited to see what he has tonight. Please give it up for James Copeland! Y'all know this motherfucker got pussy. Woo! <laughs> motherfucker! That was the comment that got me kicked out of the family Facebook group. Um, I was uh, commenting on my uncle's memorial picture. Um, yeah, he actually died of getting too much pussy. I think it's called syphilis. <laughs> This is the funniest TMZ reporter ever, dude. <laughs> Why is it that when women say they're not wearing any panties, it's considered sexy? But when I say it, the Walmart clerk tells me I have to buy the pants I just tried on? <laughs> Seems like a standard, yeah. Also, have you guys noticed when they're on women, they're, they're just called tits, but when they're on men, they're bitch tits? <laughs> That's, that doesn't seem right. Um, guys, the, uh, do you just stare in the mirror like when you take your shirt off and you're like, bitch tits. Yeah, no, it's usually my, my wa wife talking to me over my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> she comes up behind you, grabs them, she's like, you see these? Yeah, yeah. Why do you have these? Like, I own these. <laughs> yeah, my man right Two here dance. does. Or he will know, or whatever. <laughs> Guys, I, I was uh, walking my, my dog the other day in the neighborhood, and um, I came across one of my neighbors, and he, he's one of those guys that had, like, his toddler on a leash. And, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get to know the neighbors better, so I was like, hey, uh, how old is yours? Oh, how, how's the leash training going? Oh, mine's also a rescue. Oh, it's not a real, okay, sorry. Oh, that's your son? Oh. Sorry, I have face blindness, or whatever that makes this okay. Certified pedophile. <laughs> How come you always hit that button when I'm on stage? I don't know, you say things like, is that one yours? <laughs> Kid on a leash, a good opportunity for me to pop in. Yeah, I gotta check in with the neighbors, you know. Neighborhood watch. Comment from the crowd. Uh, this guy looks like a claymation. <laughs> I didn't quite get that one. Oh no, you didn't. And I've watched a lot of Tim Burton, okay? <laughs> um, if you went back in time and molested yourself, does that just count as masturbation? <laughs> I know a lot of people say they would try to kill Hitler or whatever. But... <laughs> You just go molest yourself in front of Hitler? <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll teach him. He's like, I forgot what I was even doing. That's so wild. <laughs> hey, look, were those twins? <laughs> and twins? Gotta make a couple pit stops there. Um, you guys know the, like, the Chick-fil-A marketing? I, I know a uh, Christian camp over here, definitely. The Lord's been... Chicken. There you go. <laughs> Amen, brother. Have you guys heard the the uh, branding is like cows doing like graffiti, you know? They're they're spray painting like eat more chicken. I think I realized those cows are just protesting their own genocide. <laughs> like I'm pretty sure they just escaped from Cowschwitz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, comment from the crowd. He does look like Jack Skellington, but alive. <laughs> Thank you. I guess the diet is working, folks. <laughs> What a great comment. You don't look dead. Next 
when there's like a barbecue restaurant with like a, a pig wearing like a chef's hat smiling and it, it's just like that kid that pig is cooking himself right I think he's just like a sadomasochist he's just in there he's just smoke that ass daddy <laughs> yeah yeah oh my um whoa can you say that again <laughs> Can you say it slower? <laughs> yeah, yeah, can you say it slower with more eye contact? Smoke that ass, daddy. Uh, oh. Alright, I didn't like that, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what if, what if, uh, Michaela, what if that's what Jared would have said to you when he brought you back up? <laughs> <laughs> You've been cleansed by the blood of Christ. Smoke that ass, daddy. <laughs> and the Lord said it to say it. Smoke that ass, daddy. That's what the, the water's for. Put out the smoking ass. Isn't that how baptism started? Thank you. Um, you know what's wrong with society, guys? What? Let me get on my fucking soapbox here. You know, you know what's really messed up, guys? What? Cops, they always ask you if you've had anything to drink tonight, but never if you've had anything to eat, you know? <laughs> Unfortunately, the arresting officer did not buy that point. Um, completely unrelated. Could I get a ride home after that? Okay, thanks guys, I'm James. <laughs> Pretty much, we do that for like, we're gonna do that for like 60 more minutes. Is that cool with y'all? Yeah! Hell yeah, I gotta send in some comments. I don't think y'all are here. If you follow basically comment on Instagram, send us some comments, we'll read them live during the show. You can talk about all six cute kittens on my shirt and be like, yeah, those kittens get uglier the more I look at them. <laughs> I won't tell them, they're death cats. That's what I said when I bought it. I was like, oh, look at all these death cats. I wanna wear them on my chest. Uh, if your next comic comes on the stage, he's not a death cat. He's a, he's a deaf cat. I hope he's here. I don't know if he's here, actually. But he's, he's, he's a very funny comic. I swear I hope he's here. That would be so embarrassing. Uh, Laz Hamlin! spaces and not get noticed, you know? It yeah. really feels good. It's only, I'm one of three niggas in here right now, and that's okay, you know? I felt like a boy on a stage, he like looked to the chair with his dad's name, but you were there. <laughs> 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 that is so fucked up. <laughs> I was like, no, hey, no, you, you, you were just about to do that school presentation, you look yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, then you see your dad run in with a briefcase, <laughs> like, oh. Papers flying everywhere. <laughs> That's a fucking Disney Channel movie if I ever seen it. <laughs> That's fucking wild. I've been in the house for a couple days, man. Ever since Trump won, I was like, I need to see what the life gonna be like. Yeah. Fuck around, walk outside, somebody just snatch you and throw you in the back of a van or something. Now I'm somewhere making cocoa butter for the rest of my life. <laughs> Working a cocoa butter farm or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> cocoa butter mines. Oh god, man. Oh, I should have got a chop. Mad and cocoa, cocoa butter trees. <laughs> that shit cool though. I ain't tripping, man. Like a lot of people was like crying and shit on the news. I'm like, come on now. You fucking crying because Kamala lost. Like, let's let's relax here. Supposed to cry for real shit. I'm kinda enjoying it because crypto is going through the roof right now. I'm a little happy about that. <laughs> that's only that's only because of Elon and um oh Elon fucking with Trump now. That's the shit that scared me, cause AI is getting out of hand. They making these robots and shit, and I just, I just don't need a robot in my life. Like I don't really want that. You can have one like, just around the house, like a little maid robot and shit. You know what the plan is, right? 
You gonna fuck him? Yeah. I'm gonna. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I was just about to get. That's how I start. That's how I start my communist revolution. I fuck Trump, <laughs> and then we go from there. If they get on robots, coochies, I want one. <laughs> Send one to the house. Fuck it. I'm gonna see. What, I'm gonna see what they hitting for. But it's worse now. Like, imagine being in a relationship. Like, you got a robot that can follow you around. You couldn't cheat no more. Cause the robot will know exactly where the fuck you was at. As soon as you about to leave, test the leader, follow him, see where he going. <laughs> now you got a robot following your ass around the bar, you can't even hit on women, and, never mind. Don't worry about it. You know when I really knew the economy was fucked up? Is when I was doing better than all the drug dealers I knew. <laughs> like I remember when drug dealers was like doing good, like they had nice cars and shit. Now you'd be lucky if they even got a fucking car. Like, how you sell drugs? You can't even bring it to me. <laughs> you ever buy coke off someone on a bolt scooter? <laughs> no, but at least they got a scooter. That's what I'm saying. At least they rent that motherfucker. <laughs> they got a little dope dash going on. That's cool, dope dash. <laughs> I do a little dope dash, shit. And it's like all the drug dealers I know, like you just selling weed. Like if you selling weed right now, like you really need to step your game up. Like sell some fentanyl or some cocaine or something like that. Why you, I, I know people that have been selling weed for 15 years. That's just no ambition. You might as well go get you a job. Like, why would you, why would you sell drugs and I'm doing better than you and I go to work every day, bitch? Like, you relying on my $40. And that's just crazy to me. And then they all scared that they gonna get caught by the police and shit. All of them think the feds watching them. The feds are not looking for you. You only sell on an eight ball at a time. They don't give a fuck. They need that just to keep the economy going. <laughs> I bought weed from a motherfucker one time, and of course I had to go get it because I'm doing better than him. <laughs> and when I got there, he gave me my, my little eighth. He gave me my 3.5 in a to-go tray. I'm like, what the fuck is this? He was like, just in case somebody watching my house, they think I'm just selling plates. I'm like, bitch, at least give me some fries or something like this. <laughs> yeah, it's an empty container. It's just an empty container. Like, this is more suspicious. What if they stop me outside and I just open this up? Like, what, the, what am I telling them? Oh, yeah, you just came to get your Tupperware back? <laughs> like, look, I work for Dope Dash. I don't even know what they I don't open it. I don't never open it. I'm just in here. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> What's, like, the worst thing you've gotten weed in? Probably in a, um, a lottery ticket. I used to hate that. <laughs> like a scratch off? <laughs> I done had it in a scratch off, like a little pick four ticket. They just put it in there. I've right gotten right it in a cup of coffee, where the co like a coffee cup, where the coffee was already drank, but it was still wet inside. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it had decaf. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is new shit, that decaf. <laughs> yeah, I had a nerd to call it fucking sweet cream and shit. I was like, all right. <laughs> Say just like open hands, like nothing. That was <laughs> the worst. <laughs> Comment from the crowd. He looks like he's gotten weed in a Yahtzee shaker. <laughs> it would make more sense. These you can seal that motherfucker. <laughs> I fuck around forgetting, accidentally throw the damn balled up lottery ticket away. I'm like damn, that's my whole third of all is gone. <laughs> Fucking with y'all. Imagine getting weed, but you have to like solve a Rubik's cube, like it's in like the middle of a Rubik's cube. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. I found, I, I do, I heard they gonna um, shut TikTok down too, yo, and I really hope they do. Because like, I'm learning too much shit, bro, like. And it's like, the more I learn, it fuck with my life. Just like the other day, I saw that you supposed to chew your food a minimum of 32 times before you swallow it, pause. And then, when I really thought about that shit, like, I ain't never chewed shit 32 times, like, I'm fat as fuck for that. Now I feel some type of way, like, you think about, when the last time you bit something and chewed 32 times and then swallow, like, hell no. They ain't never seen me eat a Krispy Kreme donut, bitch. <laughs> I feel like when you eat a Krispy Kreme donut, it sounds like this. That's what's going through my mind. <laughs> <laughs> if, that bitch, if, that motherfucker, if that hot light on when I get it, I came this close to fucking a Krispy Kreme donut one day. <laughs> the glaze already hot. You better go somewhere and beat your meat. After I'm done with my donuts, bitch. <laughs> uh, you nasty, but you probably licked your fingers afterwards. <laughs> Hell no, I ain't that nasty. You just wash your hands. <laughs> we gotta stop acting like beating your dick is just so taboo. Everybody ain't here to beat their dick before. Yep. I ain't fuck a pastry, bruh. I'm just saying, it's the same thing, no <laughs> What do you think they got the idea for a toaster screw? You think a motherfucker just thought of that? No. Hmm, what about cherry? Pussy? It was an accident. Pop tots, same thing. Somebody James, James what do you think about all this? <laughs> How did we get on the glaze?
blazing pop tarts? I feel like you're just going in a rabbit hole of, of fucking confectionaries. Listen, we're not gonna make me the weird one when Monty got a shirt with kitty pussy on it. We're not about to, we're not about to make me the weird one here. And kitty pussy, that, that's, all right. You do, do you not? I mean, I, I, they might have genitals. I don't know if they drew all that, but. I so mean, you're not gonna play the certified pedophile tag for him? <laughs> not to tell you how to do your job over here. <laughs> tell them what the fuck to do. <laughs> Vintage crew neck, these cats are like 29 at this point. Yeah, cat. Oh my god. So why did you get the older version? I don't know. I, sure, it's cat pussy. You got me. <laughs> Good legs. Yes. <laughs> Check. All right, guys. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> fun out there? Yeah! That's, uh, I'm so happy to hear that. Your next comic coming to the stage, I haven't seen in a while, but he's, he's a very fun dude. We always have fun with him here. Please give it up for the very funny Taylor Pearson! <laughs> Taylor Pearson! Very much. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> now, and absolutely, that's what we're going for. With this and you look like you're about to go fuck up a high school reunion. <laughs> <laughs> Four sacks, one half fumble, but you could like take it as a full fumble if you round up. Come on, baby. these are easy stats that you can lie about. <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Taylor Pierce, and I'm happy to be here. Um, it's been a weird week, right? Monty, who did you vote for? Whoa, brother. Calm down. <laughs> right out the gate. Let's get to it. Yeah, calm down, Jackie. <laughs> Last time I came here, he big dick me, so I'm trying to put the ball on your side of the court. That jacket makes it look like you voted for Ray. It was me with like a slightly above average dick, but still, either way, I got played. Comment from the crowd Who's this divorce league bowling champion? <laughs> I am divorced. You look like a wrestling coach. <laughs> and I, and I, have, I have bowled over a 200, so whoever said that is on point. Comment, oh, that was a comment from the crowd. Monty voted for Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> that shit makes me laugh. <laughs> See, I, I, I'm not gonna tell you who I voted for because it should be pretty obvious. But I wanna talk about uh, who? Jill Stein. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know? I voted for the person who gave me like the answer to the most important issue in my life right now, and I wanna share it with all y'all. I wanna figure out what the vibes are on this new proposition I have for 2024 to 2028. All white dudes under six feet should be eligible for the Special Olympics. Okay, it's been really tough for us. <laughs> I got a groan, a groan is almost as good as a laugh. Uh, I don't exactly know where I'm going with the rest of this Wait show. Wait a second. Man, you gotta embrace your soreness. Fuck all that tall yeah, shit, bro. right? Yeah, if me and, if me and Laz and Tyler got on each other's shoulders, we'd fuck you up. <laughs> Pause. Let's pause that. You can yeah. be on the top. Bro. <laughs> like twice? Like one from the top, one from the yeah, bottom? Yeah, bro. Like Would you so put like, like the thing on like Vincent Adultman and just walk through there with hands out and act like an adult? No, we just stab you. <laughs> we would just stab you. Eight arms, like the human said of you, just stabbing you. That would be six. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd all climb in your jacket. <laughs> he does this in the jacket. He does this. It's not too much room. I'm getting, I'm getting a little too hefty in the bill here. All right, well, let's work on this. Ooh, so okay, so this is what everyone thinks about me right now. This is going very poorly for me and my entire uh, overall ego. I hate you like I'm young. Wait, did we go on just now? <laughs> <laughs> is it, uh, <laughs> another, another Pavlovian response. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, you got me. <laughs> yes, <Shit>. I do. <laughs> you guys are really good at reading personalities. That works. All right, well, I went and got a haircut recently. And uh, <laughs> clearly it is uh, not doing anything for this big old fat face, but I went to a black barber because the old man down the street was just giving me the high and tight every week and my cheeks kept getting bigger and I just kept doing worse and worse on the app. So 
had to go try that out. And uh, it was a try it out. <laughs> Did my toes in the I got to go fuck with these black bottles. I, gotta see what they I was worried I'd have to freestyle. <laughs> it's rough on this. So that's what I was saying. I got there and uh, I started code switching really, really Hi, hard. Do you have white scissors? <laughs> Excuse me. You guys have. <laughs> have conditioner, right? I started code switching very, very hard. But the trick was to not use words I've never used before or lingo or whatever you want to do. The trick is to just start caring about things that you've never cared about that much before in your life. I love how he has tricks for talking to black people. <laughs> it's, it's talking to black people for dummies. <laughs> <laughs> A nice little TED talk we get going. Hey. <laughs> That shit would go triple platinum yeah. from my hometown, right? <laughs> you know, you want to incorporate a lot of Z's. I, I gotta hear this shit. I, I have to hear this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Laz, you want to act like his barber? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, come in. <laughs> act like, come oh, in. First off, it starts out with the dap. You have to stare so hard into the hand, right? <laughs> Normally, I'm going to miss it. It's hard to know with the, the elbow yeah. trick they taught you. If you see the elbow, you're not going to miss a high five. So I've got that down pat. Bang. Uh, what are you doing? Genesis? Why are you? You're like, all right, here's how you deal with the blacks. <laughs> Keep going, I'm trying something you're willing to do for the first time, and we're please just wild shit right now. Comment the important thing is you uh, cannot right, right. go and just start talking about things that you've in an accent you've never used before, saying words you've never used before, you just have to start pretending about things that you've never cared about before. LeBron James is going to be, already is, the all-time point leading scorer. I did not know that until about two weeks ago. But before, my, but before my barber appointment, he thought LeBron James was the name of his barber. I look over there, I went down the bar and shot this. <laughs> and you're LeBron, right? <laughs> so what exactly is the triple, triple double? Triple double. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. The uh, joke is not going the way that I expected. <laughs> Comment from the crowd. Uh, divorced dad discovers NPR. <laughs> Uh, comment from the crowd. His version of a black barbershop is the super cuts over on Southside. As good as I said. Yeah. Good. Uh, comment from the crowd. Make him name five more black people. Go. <laughs> Not LeBron either. But... Yeah, no sports. No sports. Clarence Thomas Jr. Kamala sort of. My first political joke ever, and that's why I'm not doing another one. She ever. lost. Yeah. We don't claim her no more. She's Indian again. Uh, that's not what I think you're talking about. That's, these are the facts. Hey, these are the facts. I said it. I believe that all farmers markets people should have their like diploma on the back wall, like lawyers or dentists, because whenever I have to buy a tomato for them for a dollar fifty more than I should normally spend at the supermarket, that sucks. <laughs> that the black market, market. The worst <laughs> black market. Are you? Farmer's market? I'm out of here. I'm you sorry. said a black market? What is happening? <laughs> oh, sorry. I used to tell Chris and I thought I was a cop with Stand Pearson, everyone. Black man extraordinaire. <laughs> uh, we still had some comments from the crowd. Comments from the crowd. Dude on stage looks like he thinks UVA stands for United Virgin Alliance. <laughs> uh, <laughs> comment from the crowd. Is he invited to the cookout? He owns three cookouts. <laughs> Comment from the crowd, Taylor, is like a bully villain from an 80s movie who woke up in 2024. Oh, uh, yeah, you know definitely what he gets excited to say, oh, Doyle's rule! I did write that similar joke about a bully from the 80s. How old are you? How old do you think I am? Uh, oof. Uh, 35! Uh, yeah, go ahead, crowd, yes. He's either 35, 33. 35. 60. 60. <laughs> Nailed it. 29. 29. This guy just wants to go on a date with me. 69. How old are you? 35. 35. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I, have, I have eight. Tyler, we have eight years until we look like that. <laughs> Till. <laughs> All right, leather jacket. Comment from the crowd. He invited to the LL Bean. <laughs> Platinum member. Yeah, dude, that is that jacket's really cool, but I feel like multiple women have been hitting it. <laughs> I know it's bad. I gotta go sit next to that for the next five. Minutes. But your next comic has never hit a woman in his life. Ooh, wait. <laughs> no, never mind. Totally, never, never, never would he in his life, dude. Even if he was like a professional wrestler, and they're like, you're turning heel. Hit Trish Tr Stratus. 
Yeah, I know, I fucked up. <laughs> I'm trying up here. I still have fucking kitten pussy stuck in my head. That still fucking got me on a loop. Uh-huh, honey. That's what it sounds like. Alright, well, your next time we come on the stage, I, he's coming back around more. I'm so happy he's here. He's a very funny boy, very silly Billy. Please give it up for Brian Fontaine! Brian Fontaine, everyone! Hey guys, how's it going? Everybody's doing alright tonight, right? Yeah. yeah. Good Wednesday. Rough week last week. We're back. Good. <laughs> awesome. Guys, I don't really want to be a comedian. I'm, uh, I have a side project. I'm trying to put together a uh, boy band with some of my peers. It's been a little difficult. Uh, Are you getting down to practice? your peers? <laughs> It's been getting uh, kind of difficult uh, finding uh, guys my age. <laughs> Bro, I'm right here. Find, finding, uh, it's been getting difficult finding guys my age that actually give a fuck about the choreography, Monty. <laughs> I need your humps a little better. I need your humps like Bobby Brown, a little, little more of the hips. Wait, do it more. And that's more. why I'm divorced. And a little, cause you you couldn't hump right. Is that what you just said? <laughs> yeah, I'm putting this out here. Why the fuck do you think I'm doing stand-up comedy? <laughs> Taylor, I just can't stay with you with all your humping. And and Tyler, Tyler, you're constantly flat. <laughs> he t Tyler the other day tells me, well, why don't you teach me how to te uh, how to fucking sing? I said, motherfucker. You can't teach this. <laughs> I was born this way. I'm a natural talent. That's what I used to tell my grade school teachers. I would say, don't bother. This cannot be taught. <laughs> this cannot be taught. Comment, okay. comment from the crowd. I never wanted you to be a comedian either. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is, if we're getting down to brass tacks, Monty, Tyler, if you guys cannot step up your act, you will be asked to leave the Chilenials. <laughs> the Chilenials. Uh, that's the name of the boy band. That's what your choreography sounds Pretty like. Pretty good name. Um, hey, uh, lady in the front, uh, can I have your name and profession? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Marie. Marie. EMT. EMT. Uh, thank you for the service. Right? Well, Marie, I'm Brian. I'm a scientist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, it's nice to meet you. I've been doing my latest experiment, Marie. I don't know if you're uh, aware of what happens when you put a Mentos in a Coke. <laughs> so get this, Marie. My my experiment was to uh, butt chug some Coke. <laughs> and then shove a Mentos up there. You see, the hypothesis being that I would jizz a whole lot. It was a negative result, Marie. I just ended up shitting everywhere. That's the uh, conclusion we came to. Uh, Wait, what was the hypothesis? It was like, the hypothesis was that I would jizz a whole lot <laughs> if I put this Coke bottle full of messes in my ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, then I was the person for this. Interestingly enough, I did come off the ground a little bit from the force of my shit. I, I did, uh, you know, explain that physics. <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, the other day, my friend was like, do you hear uh, Judge Steve Harvey is a thing now? And my initial reaction was, what the fuck? Partly because, like, how the fuck did I not hear about this? But also partly because pretty sure Steve Harvey cannot say habeas corpus. Racist. <laughs> no, no. All due respect to Steve Harvey. I wish that I was Steve Harvey. I, you know, you get to host a lot of shows and call people ignorant. I think the, the producers of Pants Off, Dance Off missed a real opportunity to have Steve Harvey host the show, you know? Uh, coming to the stage, we got Taylor. He's gonna dance for y'all. I probably won't. Look at this ignorant shit right here. Oh, hell no, what is he doing? He's not dancing so well, oh no, he's going for the belt. Oh, hell no! You might want to put your pants back on, player. Can you imagine Steve Harvey at a I'm gonna get out on this. At a ditty party? Can you do Steve Harvey at a ditty party? Steve Harvey at a ditty party. After this comment from the crowd, this dude looks like a drug dealer that slings out of a van store. <laughs> That's what I want it to be. Comment from not the crowd. a comedian, not a boy band member, not a scientist. I want him to be a drug dealer out of a van store. <laughs> Comment for the crowd, show habeas corpus on the board. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> one more. Uh, Brian looks like the guy that hangs out in your local YMCA lobby. <laughs> You're just there for the Wi-Fi? <laughs> <laughs> to homeless. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Diddy party? Steve Harvey. <laughs> Look at this ignorant shit right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much baby oil. This guy's only fucking 15 over here. Oh, hell no! <laughs> you might be going to jail, player. Alright, uh, I'm gonna get off on this. Steve Harvey's initial reaction to 9-11. Wow, get off on that? I'm assuming it's gonna be, yeah. Look at this signal shit right here. <laughs> you fly in the plane too low. There's buildings around. You're gonna do... Oh, oh, hell no! Right, wait, can you keep, can we do more? Can you do Steve Harvey? You Steve might want to fly that plane a little higher, player. Can you do Steve Harvey uh, looking at the Rwandan genocide? Oh. <laughs> All right, so, look at this ignorant shit right here. We got some Hutus and Tutsis. I, I don't know what the fuck. Oh, shit. Steve Harvey watching the Joker 2 being a huge fan of Joker 1. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Look at this ignorant shit right here. You got a Lady Gaga goo goo. Oh, they just gonna sing through the whole Oh, hell no! You might wanna give me my money back, player. <laughs> this is going in my letterbox. No, I'm kidding. Uh, thank you, Brian Fontaine. I've got a show tomorrow at Jack Brown's. Uh, tomorrow night at 9. Please come through. Harvey Joe's for like five years, it never gets old. It is my favorite thing in the entire fucking world. But yeah, go check him out at uh, Jack Brown's Cowbell Comedy. It's run by the very funny Emily Erblin. A lot of very funny comments in that. It's over at 8 uh, over at Libby Road. One more time for Brian Fontaine, everyone. All right, we're about halfway through the show. Everyone's still feeling good out there? That's fine, we're still going there. Your next comic coming to the stage is never conflicted because he knows what he came here to do, which is make you boys laugh. Girls, sorry, it's boy time. Sorry, it's alpha male boy time. Sorry, it's girls drool boys rule boy time. Are you ready for an alpha? Are you ready for a real premiere alpha to get on stage? 
All right, you might need to baptize your wife again after this one. <laughs> <laughs> That sink in there clogs very easily, brother. Get ready. Because the man coming to the stage, you put Andrew Tate to shame. <laughs> you think you saw sex trafficking? Wait till you see this next comic. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> He's a very funny comic. I love him. You are too. Please give it up for Danny McCabe. God, what the hell of an intro, am I right? <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. No, I, um, I, I'm not a sex trafficker. I'm a sex no trafficker, you know? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep those, keep those roadways efficient. You know, it's crazy. I had a... <laughs> it's crazy, you know? I, I, uh, I had a dream, uh, you know, you guys, uh, you guys ever... Yeah. I have a dream. There we go. There we go. I had a dream. I had a dream. And this was a, uh, I hadn't smoked weed in a couple days induced dream, so you knew it was going to be crazy. <laughs> he had a dream. He was Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Not only that, <laughs> I had a dream that they were doing this show outside, and uh, they got Karen out, uh, and, they, and it was nuts. It was nuts. I actually had that, like, last night. It was weird. We had a dream that we what? I had a dream that you guys went viral, like a Karen, you were doing the show outside. Uh huh. Like in the parking lot or something. Yeah. And like a Karen came by and you guys got in like a fist fight and then got like canceled. Are we beating women in your dreams? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> also, notice how he didn't call it a nightmare. <laughs> it was my dream. It was my dream. He was could like, you Come imagine? On. Could you imagine something that caliber happens? I'm just like, dream come true. Like, what the fuck? I also love the extent of your imagination. Is this show just outside? <laughs> <laughs> Basic city outside, but it's outside, Ain't right? Nothing basic about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You just imagine doing like a show like that in the rain. That would be great. Oh man. Holy fuck. Oh, uh, but. Shit, you know, dreams, dreams remind me of how, you know, dreams get crushed. Um, <laughs> if I'm not already bringing enough uh, weird white guy stereotypes tonight, um, this next part will really shock you because uh, I suffer from this um, uh, condition called visually Republican. <laughs> It's like, uh, you know, I work as a bartender, so I get it worse, you know. Every time, like, some old guy sees me in the bar, he goes, All right, there's one of us! And I'm like, no, sir, I just look this way, I'm 26. I'm gonna come. <laughs> that's usually what I say after they leave, but, um, you know, that's ah, all good. Um, is my, uh, is my... Uh, comment from the crowd from Taylor Pearson. Thanks for being more weirdly visually Republican than me. Incorrect. Yeah, no, man, we're, uh, we're like toe for toe, like if, uh, yeah, uh... Yeah, if y'all sit next to each other, you'd look like the Libertarian ticket. Oh, no, yeah, oh, no, yeah. Danny, you look more like white dudes for Harris. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a compliment. Good, good, good. White boyfriends and black girlfriends for Harris. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> Something like that. Something that's how like I got that. here, brother. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, uh, it, it's crazy, because, um... You know, uh, actually, I'm not, I mean, you know, uh, with everything going on recently, like, you know, people make that assumption, like, I'm a quarter Lebanese, right? So if you're actually looking for a name to call me, don't call me a fucking cracker, call me a pita chip. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's, um, I always say, uh, is, our, is our church crowd still here? I'm sorry. Danny, look five feet in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> you have glasses. If they, trust me, you would notice if eight people weren't in here. <laughs> Sorry, man, I got really cheap insurance. These glasses are all for show. Uh, <laughs> uh, comment from the final comment from the crowd. He knew Trump was gonna win because his prescription is 2024. Ooh, oh. I see what you did there. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You ever wish you could just kill yourself in front of people? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I. Uh, like you just had like nine lives like a cat. You could just 
If I just drown myself in front of Danny. Could you imagine that? Just like how like, I feel like middle schools would just be like suicide booths like every single day. As opposed to what? <laughs> Damn, topical. <laughs> uh, comment from the crowd. Makes me want to take the suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Who calls it the suicide? It's just like, it's just like, yeah, man, he committed the suicide. Oh, uh, if I was reading someone's suicide letter and they said, I'm gonna commit the suicide, I'd crumble it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bonzi's, be like, right. Bonzi's not the 13th reason, he's like the first reason. <laughs> One reason why Monty Giles, 10 second episode series is done. Hey, motivation's motivation. Motivation's motivation, brother. Motivation's motivation. This guy has a goal and he sticks to it. You know what's you know what really gets you out of depression? Toast in the bathtub. <laughs> You ever played? Uh, you ever played Wolverine? And uh, you know you uh, you play around uh, with the electrical sockets because you know you want to beat Magneto. <laughs> That's how you end up being X-Men. That's how you do it. <laughs> Not only that, yeah, it's like Wolverine's immortal, yeah, but Billy wasn't. <laughs> Comment for the crowd. Tell them everything will be okay. Put the gun down and ask them where the bodies are hidden. <laughs> Not a second, man. Not a second, man. Gotta give to my terms. <laughs> Bring back the Travis Scott meal. <laughs> I want to meet Cactus Jack. Oh <laughs> if Danny God, was arrested in an interrogation room, he'd ask for a Travis Scott meal. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'd be like, "What do you want? Oh, what you what you could give me, you cannot get. You can tell by the subject they're ordering like, the Travis Scott. They're like, we're this oh, yeah. guilty." This is the federal government. We can get you anything. And it's like, get me the Cactus Jack meal, limited promotion from McDonald's in 2020. Welcome back to First 48. It's been one hour since the investigation started. Danny already caved for a Travis Scott meal. <laughs> They're kind of just hanging out now. <laughs> uh, any comments from uh, any comments from Mr. McCabe himself? It's lit. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Gracious. I don't know about that. <laughs> Good, Danny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, yeah. You know what? Racism is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, racism is bullshit. Racism is bullshit. I mean, no, wait, no, racism is definitely bullshit, but it exists, and we need to squash this bullshit. Can I get an applause, people? Yeah. Are you seriously not gonna applause for not ending racism? Danny's a wow. Oh my god. Nerd. Trump's America. Nerd. Nerd. Boo. Boo. My wife's boyfriend is not going to be happy. <laughs> because we're in a battle of the Give minds. Me a K. <laughs> and I end on, and I end on this note. Danny's David Duke's mail. <laughs> God damn it, Tyler. I'm gonna end it on this note. <laughs> Kamala is coming back. Us white dudes for Kamala, she's coming back. And uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Wrong. And racism, kinda forever. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you, I've been Danny McCabe. Good morning Honda forever, everyone. Danny McCabe, let him hear it. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> that, was, that was awesome. Please, one more time for Danny McCabe, let him hear it. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, guys, we're down to our last couple comic. Oh, okay, cool. We have a drop-in. Um, she uh, she said, I need to get up there. She said, it's time for a woman to speak. Marie, yes. we got you. Michaela, we got you. Yeah. Ladies, can I get a woo woo? woo, -woo. A, there were some dudes who did that. <laughs> That's funny. Whoa! No uh, gender. All right. Silver, cut that. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Not today. Uh, your next comic coming to the stage, she's very, very funny. Uh, she has some shows coming up, I forgot when they are, but please give it up for the very funny Grace Moyer! Yeah. Yeah.
I DM'd Basic City Comedy. I said, let me speak. Woo! Oh shit, what am I gonna say? <laughs> um, guys, let's hear it for the, the girl bosses. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, if I didn't run out of time, I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> if I wasn't cut off by men. <laughs> Break that glass ceiling, sister. Uh, comment from the crowd. What's the name of Danny's Japanese sex pillow? I was about to say Danny's set just turns into him just trying to get laid. <laughs> I actually love women. A uh, huge Kamala fan. He learns how to pronounce Kamala correctly. And I'm a very generous lover. Good night. <laughs> you know what I I'm the name of the game. I'll call you later. Hey. Making women come. <laughs> Don't we all just love eating pussy so much? I didn't even use Reddit, I used YouTube. <laughs> the thing is though, like like that is like the cool thing about fucking nerds is because like I don't care how you learned it. Anyways. That was honestly a joke for Francesca, so I'm glad Francesca laughed in the back. Um, Hell yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm a girl boss, but I'm not a feminist. Ooh. Yeah. Well, it's just oh. like I don't, I don't like the associations with it. You know, like I don't like how people think that feminists are all just angry, gay man haters. Because really, they're just like people who believe in equality. And I am an angry gay man hater. <laughs> it's true, I don't even listen to boy music. <laughs> it's like anytime I hear a song by a man, I can just feel him trying to trick me. <laughs> and I'm not for it. You know, like, remember when the five cutest boys in the world had a song all There's about... There's only three of us back here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Ouch. Ouch. Disgusting. Um, you're such little twerps back there. Let her speak. Be gone, vile man. <laughs> Period. Um, yeah, uh, oh, the, the five cute boys, they sang a song about how, like, um, it's, like, really hot when a girl is insecure. <laughs> and I just think that that's a trick, you know? R.I.P. Uh, Liam Payne, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was the sound that made when he hit the ground. <laughs> Hey. hey, Tyler. Yeah, who's back there laughing like a Scooby-Doo monster? <laughs> it's not Frankenstein, it's Old Man Johnson. <laughs> uh, comment from the crowd. Christian Colt was a little bit too quiet about the anti-feminism. <laughs> Leave them alone. The Protestant. Yeah. Comments about the crowd. That's crazy. Anyways, um... The only boy song that I like is, oh, oh, I was gonna talk about another one I hate first. It's, um, it's the one where the guy sings all about, like, he lurks outside of this 18-year-old girl's house, and he waits till she's, like, crying so that he can swoop in and have sex with her. But then he sings this whole song about it, and he's like, she will be loved. And I just feel like, I don't know, maybe take her on a date. <laughs> He's like, I know where you hide. That's scary. <laughs> I don't want you to know my hiding place. What the fuck, Adam? Oh my god. The only boy song that I like is You're Beautiful by James Blunt. 
because that, that song is just about like um, falling in love with a girl while you're stoned in public. <laughs> I call that a Tuesday morning. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Sounds like James Blunt just smoked a blunt. <laughs> Um, but it's like he just, he falls in love with her and then he leaves her alone forever. And it's like, shout out to a man who knows what women want. <laughs> you know, write poems about me. Don't talk to me. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Baptize me twice and excommunicate yourself. <laughs> yeah. Um, I actually Although, thought- Grace, you're dressed like if I put a hopscotch uh, thing in front of you, you couldn't resist. <laughs> I was going for like figure skater vibes. Oh no, you, you're going for like third grader. <laughs> third, grader who, third grader who has a crush on a math teacher. <laughs> you're wearing a shirt with kitten pussy and a bathroom hat right now. Which one of us is dressed like a little kid? Monty's more dressed like a grandma. <laughs> Everybody looks silly tonight. <laughs> Stop saying kitten pussy. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna get knuckle tats and say kitten pussy if you keep going. You don't have enough knuckles. Toes. I have toes. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> toes. Um, comment from the crowd. I feel like I'm not allowed to be 300 feet in front of a school right now, but that's you. What? Uh, comment from the crowd. That's way too many figures for a kitten pussy and. Whoa. Whoa. His toes. Whoa. I think we've reached our kid pussy threshold. Please move on. That's Sherman how I feel. Like... Kid pussy. <laughs> That's how I feel anytime you're talking about your cat. <laughs> when she's like, what's it in heat or whatever. Anyways. Yeah. Monty can talk about his kid pussy all he wants. As soon as someone else talks about kid pussy, it's too much. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, take that, woman. <laughs> Let her speak! That was a real thing someone said once during this. Uh, for you guys that aren't in on it. Um, anyways. Oh, there is one more boy song that I discovered I liked the other day. She's a freaking young kid of my sexual. Uh, Project Pat, not Project 2025. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess like 2025, I, it, in 2024, it was my New Year's resolution to be more um, gay. And I did a pretty good job. <laughs> but I, cut that shit out. But I guess like 2025, I'm like straight again. Don't imply to this audience that it's a choice. No, but it's like, it's cool. Like when you're bi, it like kind of is. What? Yeah. yeah. It's like, you know, when a Republican says, says that sexuality is a choice, that's how you know they're just bi and choosing straight. <laughs> you know, like, I still have straight thoughts. I just don't act on them. That's a sin. Yeah, you don't want to pass that bag gross. of dirt. You don't want to pass the bag of dirt and smack it. Maybe I shouldn't have said that joke to all, in front of all of the... Um, religious crowd that we have here tonight. Yeah, that's all right, I started. Personally, I love her demographic. Oh, you're, you're, cool, you're down with gay? Nobody cares. Okay. Uh, well, according to a book I read. <laughs> Nobody cares is like such a good way of being like, I'm not homophobic, but I don't like you. Yeah. They killed that gay kid, not because he was gay, he was just annoying. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like his voice. I am the Lord. That's how I feel watching Glee. I'm like, oh my god, I just hate you. That's also just what happens when you spend time in Richmond enough. It's like, you know, not all gay people are good. You know? Silver clip that. I'm just saying. Um, anyways, I'll, I'm gonna leave now. The, the last thing I'm gonna say is just like, um, the only other uh, boy song that I found that I liked the other day is, um, you know that one song that's like, shawty's like a melody in my head. No, because I realized he was like, shawty's like a gun to my holster. And I was like, she's the gun. 
Yeah. You're the holster? Whoa. You know, he's getting pegged. And that's cool. Oh. Save the male G-spot. I didn't get to that, but the G male G-spot thing, that's that's my bit, not Krishan's bit. So, that's my time. I'm Grace Moore. Thanks, guys. Stage. Oh boy, his G spot stands for giggle. Because he's a funny little mister. Uh, he's a DC comic. I always love seeing him. He has a show in Baltimore. That doesn't affect y'all unless you're going to Baltimore. But please give it up for the very funny LT. How y'all doing? Good. Y'all good? All right. All right, I'm going to tell you this right now. Uh, I've been doing comedy for 12 years. I'm a little autistic. I don't know how to read a room. <laughs> like, at fucking all. Uh, okay, I heard politics. I, I heard uh, gayness. I heard religion. I can talk about anything, right? Kitten. Talk about gayness. No, no, there's no, there's no kitten, but there's just cats frolicking. Okay, there's cats frolicking, and I was looking to see some pink cats playing with some pussy. Oh, you right are. now, it's cats playing with some roses. Fuck all out of here. Y'all lied to me, bunch of bastards. <laughs> they are talking about some Hell yeah. And it's speaking of you, yeah, I'll be honest, I am a little homophobic. Not Jesus like, Christ. not like I'm against you homophobic. Uh -huh. Just like, I, I don't want to kill gay people, but I will never dance battle a gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't twerk on you. No, I don't. Know. Believe it or not, I, I actually dance. So. Wait, that was, that was, that was <laughs> you're actually dancing? No, yes. Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Shakira, Shakira. Wait, can you give us, can you, can you give us more of a, of a dance? Hold on one second. Hold on, let's find this. Then I think we need a robot. Uh, uh, That's the most racist thing. Uh, oh wait, yeah, I, for the end, I am a black man. I just came out fucked up. Okay. Shake that thing, bitch. Can I, can I shake that thing, bitch? Can I, can I shake that thing, yeah. Because yeah. Virginians don't dance. Yeah, you you dance like one of those charming bears in those commercials. <laughs> I'm trying to be a stripper. You just looked like the Babadook. <laughs> yeah, but who's like a skinwalker? <laughs> hey, at least I look like it's not that You look like a crab you. trying to get rid of its shell, dude. <laughs> you look like your you, grandmother trusts you. You, you also you. look like it's past your curfew. Girl, I do. I've seen you all day like all the time. You are dressed like it's picture day. Yeah. <laughs> We're all dressed like it's picture We are! Monty, you just look like the nicest cocaine dealer. <laughs> <laughs> it's healthy. Hell yeah, here's some coke and a chocolate chip cookie I made. <laughs> you remind me of that one Powerpuff girl that blew up Bunny! Oh. Buttercup? <laughs> you watch Powerpuff Girls. Oh! Wow, that's... That's really mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I fucking hate dance battling gay guys, though. Back to that. I, it's so hard when you get hard. <laughs> Yo. You said you fuck P. Diddy? I mean, I would. Okay, there is rumors I went to a freak off because um, I said this one bad joke. And, okay, I wasn't joking. Okay, so you remember the whole baby old Jiffy? Okay, so now wait, let me explain. Just let me explain. Just let me explain. I thought that the baby oil was to freshen people up because baby oil gets rid of all the funk. Why are you nodding like we would know then? And He's like, Tyler uses baby oil. <laughs> no, no, because see what happened. Tyler's <laughs> slipping between a door slot. <laughs> so, no, because see what happened. Johnson was, and Johnson baby. <laughs> All grown up. Because <laughs> sometimes I forget to wash my good shirt, so I put some baby oil on it. And I thought that was the reason why. And 
Turns out Diddy was putting LSD on it, so now I look like an extra freak. So I'm celibate now. Shout out to my to my uh, Jesus people. I just don't want to be called El Titty. You don't want to be called what? I don't want to be called El Titty. El Titty? Yeah. <laughs> who who would call you that? I don't know. I'm whoever, just scared. Whoever thought of that would be an idiot. I thought. Who? Oh. <laughs> Y'all doing all right, though? <laughs> yeah, are you doing all right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I be honest with y'all some more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't joking. I, none of my jokes are funny. Oh, Jesus. I just learned that. Yeah, ain't none of my jokes funny. Everybody hurts. <laughs> like, after, like, after I'm done telling jokes, I just go in the corner and just, like, just think about my life. Like, I'm in the LGBT community since y'all don't care. Uh, my letter is T, but I'm not trans, though. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so you know, nobody talks about my people, nobody fucks with my people. I ain't got a motherfucking flag. You got a motherfucking flag, I don't. They took the flags down, though. Shut up, shut up, shut the fuck up! You still got a flag! <laughs> I'm sorry, what's your flag? Spoke to shit, shit, what do you wish your flag? Tomboy lesbian lover. <laughs> <laughs> I like masculine lesbians. They don't wear no makeup, they, especially in the hood. I don't, I don't like um, masculine lesbians in white neighborhoods. They don't sag their pants, but in the hood they do. I like that, and I see to see their underwear. <laughs> Can you imagine like calling to like set up your Xfinity like internet and this guy shows up? <laughs> Something that sex. I do do IT. Comment from the crowd, nah, it's T for trains. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of trains are we talking? Awesome. Steam trains, coal trains? I told you I'm autistic. What trains are we talking about, dumbasses? Diddy trains. Diddy trains. You can make sure you have the baby over there, buddy. I'll bring mine. This is disgusting. I want to be offended, but it's like I feel like the way that you feel is the same way that I feel about like Troy Savon. Not really. No one in the crowd understands that. Why do I feel like you're not wearing a shirt under that jacket? Yeah. I feel like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's another hoodie. Yeah. Really? This is my outside hoodie. This is my inside hoodie. <laughs> See, this was my kitten pussy shirt under, but you're not actually wearing yours. Oh. That's how I really feel on the inside. Like a kitten pussy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's like, um. Wet and adorable. Jesus Since we're talking about the election. Apparently, there's a lot of women that's about to go gay. You're about to have such a good 2025. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Since that's going to happen, any lesbians in here, make sure you wipe your mouth after the pussy juice. It's going to be embarrassing if you just go to New Day. Just, ah, sorry I'm late. You better go somewhere and beat your meat. I did. <laughs> <laughs> there's pussy juice on there right now. I just, just oh, wipe my lady's pussy juice. I'm like, ugh. Ooh, Why are you acting like lesbians don't have to like lay together for 12 hours after sex? <laughs> Not in 2025, you know, you're gonna be too busy. Yeah, they have to go on Zillow and look for apartments together. No, <laughs> yeah. Not in 2025. Like I said, a lot of coochie. A lot of coochie. They're gonna have to start doing like, uh, something. LT stands for a lot of trains. <laughs> what kind of fucking trains, people? Uh, comment from the crowd, it's actually L bitch titty. Oh, L bitch titty? Oh. Oh. Who the fuck said it? Oh, I'm a bitch. Okay. Well, no, your tits are. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, these little bitch titties. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they strong bitch titties. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're bitch like attitude bitch, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know that. I feel like this is what like drag queens are like outside of their makeup. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It is like if you have like a full beat on and you say misogynistic shit, I'm like, yes. But if you're out of drag, I'm like, how dare you? Well then you just look like me, just you know, just wearing a Jordan hoodie, some you know, some blue shoes and some periwinkle jeans. <laughs> Hair a little dried up, but you know, you do IT, so it's okay. <laughs> you look like you're cold on your way to church. <laughs> My feet are. I be hot-stepping to church. 
Step in the name of love. Now it makes all sense. Who made that song again? That was R. Kelly. <laughs> and we look what happened to him. What happened? He's a cool guy. <laughs> oh yeah, he got he got he got pinned down for rape really bad. Jesus. <laughs> uh, comment from the crowd, bro. Can you please just fix my cable and leave? <laughs> Where is your house, bitch? Uh, comment from the crowd. This guy puts the tism in baptism. <laughs> by the curly passion. <laughs> Comes full circle. <laughs> that's awesome. Whoever did that, that's a comment of the night, dude. <laughs> well, that's my time. Hey, if y'all enjoyed what y'all saw, uh, if you want to see more of me, you can follow me at One Bad Joke LT. Right, I'm about to go to somebody's house and fix some cable and play with trackers. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Up north, Keep it going for LT, everyone! Alright, guys, it's that time of the night. Are you ready for your final comic of the night? Yeah, we are. Alright, come on, we can do better than that. It's been a long show, it's been very funny. Ready for your final comic of the night? Well, guys, it's really cool because he might not exist, so we'll see what happens. Um, I've never seen him before. I think I've heard his name. I don't know, let's find out. Zach Cauldron, are you here? That boy, good. Oh, right. Get him for Zach Cozer and Lassiter. I found him out tonight. Yeah, that guy's really good. I can sing something. I am real. How's everybody doing tonight? Woo! Uh, I'm pretty nervous, you know? Don't be. You've got comfortable shoes on. No, I'm, I'm very nervous. Uh, <laughs> thanks. No, I'm nervous because uh, I think the robot uprising is starting. There's no way a uh, human Trump pulled that shit off. It's gotta be a Trump GPT robot made by Elon Musk. I don't know, I'm gonna join the uh, other IT guys so he knows I'm on the right side. Someone's gonna have to fix them, you know? No, but uh, as long as there's a train there, I'm with it. <laughs> yeah, trains, we can run a train, we can run a train. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure, we can run a train. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, can you imagine them two running a train on you? <laughs> It'd be like the train to Busan, dude. As long as I can go first, you know what I mean? We're going to come out glistening in baby oil and every with the slick bags. Oh, uh, stop. No, I recently went to uh, <laughs> my girlfriend's grandparents' house, and uh, I knew it was going to be awkward, but they made that shit weird because they asked me if I was Mexican, like right off the bat. I would ask if you were Wait, wait, wait. Can you, can you slick your head back right quick? We will be sexy as fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Dynamic duo, Bert and Ernie. Wait, what kind of thoughts are <laughs> Oh, wait, which one's Bert? Which one's Ernie? Whichever one you want to be. Who's taller, me or you? Okay, so I'm Bert. You gotta be Ernie. You're shorter. Go for it. Alright, so I wear the yellow. He wears the orange. It makes Sesame Street look good again, you know? Yeah. I like it. No, I, uh, I don't know if you have kind eyes or if they're just empty. A little bit of both. Right place, right time, you never know. No, uh, comment from the crowd. Lord Farquaad. <laughs> Somebody was so good. Residuals off Shrek too, so it works. It works. No, but um, I was offended when they called me, uh, asked me if I was Mexican. But then I was like, why am I being offended? You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with being Mexican. Plus, they had made tacos for dinner, and uh, I fucking love tacos. So shit, just went with it. You know, you habla español. No, but um, wrong. <laughs> uh, no, for the crowd, make Sesame Street great again. <laughs> got to, got to. No, uh, my dad's actually Italian. I remember one Christmas he got me the uh, Nintendo video game system, which comes with the Mario Brothers game. Yeah, I'm that old. But um, he was like legitimately offended by the portrayal of Italians in the game, and he let me know like, it with jobs. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. I would never do that. No. <laughs> Cause you want uh, me to clean your shit up? Oh, you think I would save a woman? Oh, oh. Like, this is what you think we do all day? I'm not gonna step on the mushroom, I'm gonna eat it. Exactly. I'm not gonna step on the mushroom, I'm gonna eat it. Ah! Then he ran out of my room. Boy, 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 boy. Wait, hold on. <laughs> your, dad, your dad's cool with black people, right? Yeah, he's still Italian, Italian, you know what I mean? No. Yeah, because yeah. imagine just trying to like, ah, he's talking to Yeah, yeah, he yeah, threw it around a couple of times, but you know. Oh, he's uh, racist. Yeah, 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 he's racist. He's Italian yeah. racist, yeah. though, you know what I mean? It's different. Yeah, y'all don't say the N word, y'all say the M word. It's like I can tell you racist. Yeah. 
Light, it's like light, light Italian. Yeah, you know how there's like... <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, Never let's see what else I got. I know we have some, some Jesus fans in the crowd. Never been a huge fan of Jesus, you know what I mean? You look like one of his disciples. I know. But he, he, he's just so emo. That's the problem with Jesus, you know? Like, I died. He looks emo? Are you fucking? You're going to say, that about, gonna say that about my Lord and Savior right now, dressed like oh. that. Yeah. Because he's always complaining, I died for your sins. You, you know, now you got to love me. Honey, I'm sweater. You look like you have a copy of Catcher in the Rye right now. <laughs> <laughs> I've read it. You look like Chucky. Oh, what he turned Chucky. Chucky what? Chucky. The, the name of red hair? The doll? Yeah, the doll. Killing it. Killing it. I like the metaphor. Uh, LT stands for lost in translation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get it right one day. <laughs> I uh, I don't think it's a, uh, if you believe in religion that makes you a good person, you know, I think it's like your deeds or what you do. Like I like to sing uh, Brown Eyed Girl during anal sex. We wanna hear it. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't I hey, 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 I dance. Okay. You can dance. Go ahead. No, you gotta sing. You gotta sing. You gotta sing. I dance. You gotta sing. Remember, Bert. Ernst? No, I wasn't singing during this. This is a fucking telethon. <laughs> no, but um, no, my girlfriend's great though. She appreciates it. Um, it's weird though. The first when we first started dating. So you just it was weird dancing. Cause she had the same name Singing. as my mom, you know, which made it awkward. So I made up a pet name for her. Started calling her Sweetie. But she hated it. She thought it was dumb as fuck. She was like, just keep calling me mom, you know? <laughs> so. No, but uh, my girlfriend's great. She wanted to help me out. She gave me some advice. She said, do uh, more self deprecating jokes. She said, do some small dick jokes. But I explained to her, those aren't funny. Thanks for not laughing. I appreciate it. They're not. Who's Plus, dog is that? It wasn't your fault. A dog just popped out of nowhere. I know. They follow me around. All this talk of kitten pussy. We need some dog pussy. <laughs> keep hand in my pockets just so they follow me. All this kitten pussy. Thank God. Thank God we got some dog pussy up in here. Oh, oh shit. See, <laughs> shit. Who wants to see LT go down on the dog? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I, I ain't going to see LT. I have my limits too. <laughs> Who's no, the fucking person? <laughs> oh, there he goes. Bye. Uh, give it for the dog, everyone. <laughs> Great comedic timing on the dog. <laughs> Airbud, he's a stand up comic. Yeah, no one said comics can't be dogs. Hey, did Zach turn into the dog? Where did he go? <laughs> Air. Air buddy does stand up. He thought it was a canine unit. <laughs> <laughs> gotta run, got drugs in my pocket, you know what I mean? <laughs> Shit. Uh, coming from the crowd, the dog came to confirm that his girlfriend isn't missing. That's true, that's true, that's true. She has the same name as my mom. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do have fuck you mom energy. <laughs> I fucked a few moms in my day. <laughs> cool guy. He's the best pilot. Say dude. what's up. What? Oh yeah, if he's about to say me, yeah, dude. Yeah, if he's about to say. God, I, can you imagine coming home as like a child and this man's playing your video games <laughs> after, after fucking your mom, <laughs> sitting Indian style, just doing time trials on Mario Brothers, <laughs> eating your lunch leaves. <laughs> it's a good Twitch stream, you know what I mean? Uh, comment from the crowd. Yeah, teen moms. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta start wearing that little Mills t shirt now. I got it on to the special. God, dude, I bet, I bet your fingers go crazy on the keyboard with a 14 year old. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm tired. No, I like the keyboard. Woo! Look at the time. Alright, Zach Calder, you got us, brother. Dude, finish strong. Oh, you wanna do one more joke? Yeah, can you do one more oh, joke? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Alright, so I uh, just wrapped up the Penguin series. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but. Uh, <laughs> It's a good show. I just feel like the, pain, uh, the Batman's been done, you know what I mean? I feel like some other comic strips need uh, some adult themes and situations. So uh, I got a good one for you. From the mind of Charles Schultz comes one man to take back the streets. He is. Hey, I'm Charlie Browns. I don't know if you heard, but I don't work for Peanuts no more. <laughs> Big Ben, you piece of shit. Big Ben, you piece of human garbage. You think I'll see that cloud of dust falling to you around, eh? Line is Lucy, grab him, pat him. Show them what we call use the peppermint. Thanks, that's my time. Give it over to Zach Carter, everyone. Zach Carter! Was that your first time doing stand up?
second, second time doing stand up. Give it up for him, everyone. Hell yeah. What do you, what do you think, brother? Pick up the mic. What do you think? man. It was fun. Mexico City a couple times. Thought it was awesome show. Fuck yeah. Who thinks that should come back? Who thinks that should come back? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thanks, guys. It was awesome. With that being said, please give it to all the comics you heard tonight, everyone. That's been our show. Thank you all so much. Please give it up for Silver, your cameraman. Give it up for your bartender, Alex. Close them out. Give it up for my best friend and co-host, Tyler Bauer, everyone. Give it up for Monty. Give it up for Monty. We love you guys so much. Call me RBA. This is the Comedy RBA. You know the gist. We love you. We'll see you next week. Let's go smoke weed in the parking lot. Bye. There's only one beer left. Rappers screaming on in our ears like we're deaf. Tell me, do a number on the label. Beat up all the MCs, bring them under the table like it's on me. Put it on my tab, King. However, you get there for the cabin behind the horse. You need it on your face for it. I lost my mind.